Barack Obama and his wife, former First Lady Michelle Obama, returned to the White House on Wednesday for the unveiling of their official portraits, hosted by fellow Democrat Joe Biden more than five years after the former president left office. Artist Robert McCurdy put the grey-suited ex-president at the center of his canvas in a photorealistic portrait with a white background that recalls previous portraits he did of Toni Morrison and Nelson Mandela. <laughs> The former first lady is pictured in a blue dress in the White House Red Room in a painting by Brooklyn artist Sharon Sprung. Large former portraits of US presidents and first ladies adorn walls, hallways and rooms throughout the White House. Obama thanked Biden his vice president between 2009 and 2017 for building on the work they did together. Joe, it is now America's good fortune to have you as president. You've guided us. <laughs> you have guided us through some perilous times. You've built on and gone beyond the work we all did together to expand health care, to fight climate change, to advance social justice, and to promote economic fairness. Thanks to your decency and thanks to your strength, maybe most of all thanks to your faith in our democracy and the American people. The country is better off than when you took office, and we should all be deeply grateful for that. So thank you so much. It is my pleasure to introduce someone who needs no introduction. <laughs> Michelle was the best thing about living in the White House, and let me tell you, uh, the Patriot chefs here deliver delicious pies on request. So that is saying something. Um, I could not ask for a better life partner, and in my humble opinion, America could not have asked for a better first lady. Please give it up for Michelle Obama. Thank you. Oh, well, let me uh, thank my husband, first of all, for such spicy remarks. <laughs> Customarily, a former president returns for the unveiling during his successor's tenure, but Republican President Donald Trump's administration did not hold a ceremony for the Obamas. Trump, before winning the 2016 election and succeeding Obama, was a long-time proponent of the birther movement that falsely suggested Obama was not born in the United States and should not be the president. Uh, traditions like this matter, not just for those of us who hold these positions, but for everyone participating in and watching our democracy. You see the people, they make their voices heard with their vote. Um, we hold an inauguration to ensure a peaceful transition of power. Those of us lucky enough to serve work, as Barack said, as hard as we can for as long as we can as long as the people choose to keep us here. And once our time is up, we move on. And all that remains in this hallowed place are our good efforts and these portraits. Uh, but what we're looking at today, a portrait of a biracial kid with an unusual name <laughs> and the daughter of a water pump operator and a stay-at-home mom, what we are seeing is a reminder that there's a place for everyone in this country. Because as Barack said, the two of us can end up on the walls of the most famous address in the world. Then again, it is so important for every young kid who is doubting themselves to believe that they can too. That is what this country is about. 
It's not about blood or pedigree or wealth. It's a place where everyone should have a fair shot. Whether you're a kid taking two buses and a train just to get to school, or a single mother who's working two jobs to put some food on the table, or an immigrant just arriving, getting your first apartment, forging a future for yourself in a place you dreamed of. That's why for me this day isn't about me or Barack. It's not even about these beautiful paintings. It's about telling that fuller story, a story that includes every single American in every single corner of the country. Barack and Michelle, welcome home. <laughs> welcome home. <clears throat> His Recovery Act brought America back from a great recession. The auto rescue protected an iconic industry that represents the nation's heart and soul. And there were a whole lot of people, some maybe even in this room, that were telling you we should let the industry go bankrupt. We should let it go. But you wouldn't. You persisted. You insisted. And uh, I remember our conversations. And I'm proud. I'm proud we stood together and wouldn't let that happen. You bet on the American worker. You believed in the American worker. Even though he knew it would be uh, controversial, you stood up for hundreds of thousands of dreamers, dreamers who only know America as their home. It always boggles my mind that others can't understand that a three-year-old kid's going to say, no, Mom, leave me in this side of the Rio Grande. You go ahead and go. I'm serious. Earlier portraits of the Obamas that were unveiled in 2018 and placed in the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery in Washington have become a major tourist draw. Biden and his wife, Jill, were close to Obamas during the Obama presidency as they managed their political and personal lives, including the death of Biden's son, Beau, from cancer. Obama has been back at the White House once since leaving office, joining Biden in April for an event to tout his signature healthcare law known as Obamacare. 